What's up, people? This is G-Man Keeps It Real, and I have an important video to do. Um, some questions I got asked uh, under a post I put up, you know, because uh, I have my YouTube linked to my Facebook. So, you know, every time I upload, my video pops up on my feed. And, you know, that's why I say, you know, add me on Facebook, you know. Um, and I got a series of questions from this uh, young lady. I'm not going to... Uh, dis uh, put her name out here because uh, I don't I don't think she wants a name out but you know uh, one youtuber knows and you know Ted Stills knows who I'm talking about uh, she left a plethora of questions for black men or men in general you know um, and how men feel about black women you know um, she wants to know uh, why do men do certain things the title of this video is going to be called um, have you covered relationships? I'm going to read as follows. Topics such as why do males continuously make the same mistakes? Why do males feel like they have to hide things or even lie about simple stuff? Why do most guys make the same mistake as the last guy? Let's see, not comforting enough, good listeners, affection, not spiritual enough, doesn't want to grow, has a routine and doesn't live outside the box. Most black men, you know, for the most part, I mean, I, I can't speak for all black men, you know, because, you know, every black man isn't isn't the same, you know what I'm saying? But it depends on where he is at in life, you know what I'm saying? You know, as far as a routine and, you know, living outside the box. Every man has a different path, you know what I'm saying? It may take a little bit longer for him to get his goal you know what i'm saying everybody has to work towards something or even start you know what i'm saying so you know a lot of black men you know well let me speak for myself you know some of us just look at the money you know as money for the time being you know what i'm saying we just trying to pay some debt off you know we just trying to you know stay out of as much financial problems as possible but you know uh, we know in the long run we're going to have to sacrifice a lot of our money, you know, to do better. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as paying all our money to these student loans and getting a better education to get somewhere in life. You know, we know we're going to have to sacrifice that in the long run. But, you know, some of us don't want to do that. Some of us just want to get the money for the time being. Some of us ain't going to be at the same point in life that we are now you know everybody has a starting point everybody has to crawl before they can walk you know I mean just because you graduate from one you know school or you know you graduated from some special trade school doesn't mean you want to automatically get that job you know what I'm saying it, it depends on where you at you know it depends on what you got what's in your resume you know every black man isn't the same every black man isn't stuck in the hood or you know all that the typical black man, I classify guys like the guys that are small-minded that think every girl is a slut, whole bitch trick. Says they are no good women out here, but it's normally the dude living in the hood and what the thugs say. Or the older, successful man that's hard on a woman for not having his status. Or men being hard on women for not making it in life yet or the breadwinners of homes well you're kind of looking at men as being stagnant and being held back and you know not really going outside the box and doing what they got to do but yet you want the men to accept the woman for being the same way you know what i'm saying it's kind of like a twist and turn here you know what i'm saying either it's either or you know what i'm saying like i mean how can a successful man want a woman that's not there yet, but a woman that's there wants a man to be there that's not there yet? You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a different starting point. I, don't, You know, I'm not going to sit here and expect every black woman to get up and be the best they can be because, hey, like, like, like the old folks say, somebody got to sweep the floor. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is not going to reach it. You know, everybody is not that hungry as people you know, as America wants us to be, you know what I'm saying? Everybody isn't going to slave and do all that stuff, you know? That's just how it is, you know? I, I wish everybody did have a worth, working ethic towards trying to be something, you know, trying to be somebody of uh, high status or be somebody respectable, but everybody doesn't want to do that, you know what I'm saying? As far as 
black men only in the hood seeing women as bitches and hoes. That's not true. You know, it's a lot of men up here that ain't in the hood that still feel the same damn way. You know, it's all about perception. You know what I'm saying? It's all about what you are seen as, what you portray, you know, what you say out of your own mouth, you know, what you say you're going to do, what you did, what, you know, whatever business you put out there, that's what you're going to be seen as. Do it by women who remain faithful to themselves and who they are despite their significant other's mistakes. For instance, males can be insensitive as in uncaring, nonchalant, very judgmental, never satisfied with things, but honestly, they truly have the best. I can see that a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But it depends on what type of men these women are choosing out here, you know? Um, if you were attracted to the in, if you were attracted to the in, uh, sensitive, non-caring, asshole of a man then that's what you're gonna be with you know what i'm saying if that's what that's all that that you think can handle you you know that's who you're gonna attract just like i said in in the beginning of the video how can you expect somebody to have it when you ain't got it you know what i'm saying like you would you attract who's ever in your means you know what i'm saying whoever's in your level you know everybody has a different relationship level and you know everybody isn't up here and everybody isn't down here, you know what I'm saying? Some people are just, you know, scattered around, you know? I mean, it's whatever, it's whatever circles you're in that you're going to attract, you know? It ain't always about, you know, um, what you want a woman to do, you know? And, you know, how you crack the whip on her and how you try to change it. You can't really change a person to be what you want them to be, you know? You just got to you know keep looking around you know if you're not happy with the person you with the simple thing is to move on she says or a man that says i don't care i'm gonna do me that's insensitive uh a person that lacks growth in their character growing to be a better man for himself for his lady and also for god to become spiritual and do what's righteous i must say growing to be a man of god is a challenge for some but they are awakened and changed why do the men in the hood don't expand their minds why do the people that grow up nicely like some guys want to act hood and be street and they're in college just some stuff for you to talk about i mean thugs i know thugs pray you know if they are religious you know some people are atheists you know some people don't believe in god you know um I can't speak for every thug on the street, you know. I mean, hey, if and any thugs watching this, you know, answer the questions. You know, why y'all not spiritual and awakening to, you know, God's plan or whatever, you know. Um, and why do nice guys act hood in college? Well, they act good and portray this image to attract the women that are not attracted to them, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Okay, you know, like, I see a lot of dudes rocking, you know, you know, blood gang wear, you know, rocking the, the red hats with the C's on them or whatever, you know. You know, it's all a fashion, you know what I'm saying? It's all a fashion statement. It's all, you know, what you want to portray, you know, rocking the North Faces and the hard bottom Tims and all that, you know, rocking the skinny jeans, all, everything is a fad, a phase, you know, whatever to attract the girl's attention. That's what they're going to put on. You know, you got to accept that, you know. I mean, black people are infamous for that, you know, for portraying something. Even if they're not even a part of it, you know. not Even if they ain't even come from that background, they're going to still wear the same damn clothes. Everybody's going to try to imitate everybody, you know. If it, if it looks good, you know, that's what they're going to wear. You know, that's what they're going to put on, you know. And, and, and women flock to that shit, you know what I'm saying. They flock to that shit like fucking moths to a fire you know i mean really the question should be why do women attract to the nice guys that act like hood niggas you know what i'm saying why is it that nice guys have to be hood to attract these women out? i think i'm gonna put these in the description box you know y'all read it and y'all elaborate on it answer the questions you know what i'm saying i try to answer them to the best of my ability but i know i can't speak for every black man on this earth but that's g-man on live forever on it I appreciate the questions y'all send me and when y'all comment on my post on Facebook, add me on Facebook and uh, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.